is my head. It's my head here. That's the roof. The chair up. Then my legs were like up here a little bit. So I have my seat pushed all the way back. Nobody can sit here really. Yeah. This love, this hate, lies and games, faith. All right. So in today's episode, we're going to discuss is the 2024 Mark 8 Golfs, the, be it the Golf R, the Golf GTI, or any other new Mark 8 Golf that you can get, is it tall people friendly? Like if you're six, three and over, can you consider buying this car? So let's get a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm gonna take the car outside and kind of do some video footage to kind of show you what you know i'm six six and a half so you guys will be able to see by looking at me whether it's tall people friendly and then we'll go even deeper into like if you're somebody that's tall should you or even if um you're six foot and above should you get this car and where the drawbacks would be if you did get it and where the pluses would be if you did get it so let's get into this All right, guys, so this is going to be a short and sweet video. Uh, for those of you wanting to know, is the Mark 8 Golf, the Golf GTI, the Golf R, is it tall people friendly? So as you can see, I'm 6'6". I'll, uh, I'll probably go to the back there by my garage so you can kind of get an idea. Uh, so this is the Golf. This is my head. This is my head here. That's the roof. So, yeah. All right. So that's just for scale to kind of give you an idea. And I'll go around and I'll show you some parts of the car so you could kind of, you know, see what the car looks like, what it looks like when I have my stuff in it and stuff. And basically, generally, is it going to be friendly to you if you're like 6'3 and above or even just six foot and above? Uh, I'm 6'6", six, six, so... I see it as inches, but sometimes it makes a big difference because just to kind of put it in perspective, I do not fit comfortably in a GR Supra. I love that car. I'd love to get one. I do not fit uh, comfortably in it. I don't fit comfortably in a Nissan Z, but I fit slightly better in a Nissan Z than I do in a Supra. I absolutely cannot fit in a, a Lamborghini Huracan. I tried that, it took me about five minutes, like a legit five minutes to get in and like maybe three minutes to get out. Like it was, it was tough. I cannot fit in a Mazda, I'll put in a clip, a Ma sorry, I cannot fit in a Mazda uh, MX-5, the Miata. Like, you know, Q and Anna, they tried to force me into one and I, my feet couldn't even reach the pedals. I'll put in a quick clip of that here so you guys can see. Wrong. Hold on, let me get close because the, oh, the door open, all right. Yeah. No, there's no way. Man. Get in there. Hold on. Can get you, in. Can you push the seat back? <laughs> that is back. Get in is there. Is it really? I think go back a little bit, but. No, nah, yeah, we gotta get it back further. It's uh, on the, what the? That's it. All right, can we raise like the steering wheel? That was like raise the steering wheel. What knee ain't gonna fit. All right, all right, here we go. I could do this, y'all. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you in there? Kinda. Hold on, hold on. Wait, one more leg. Get that knee up under there. I can't turn this. Look, there's no room. Oh, dang. But yeah, so there's a lot of cars at just at being 6'6", which is not the tallest, but just at being at my height, I can't fit in a lot of cars. But And this car, this Golf GTI here, it looks small, but... Um, Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go show you guys where I have my seating and then the back seat space and everything. So come along. Let's let's check it out. All right. Before we even go into this, I want to send a shout out to the whole MOC. That's uh, Q to Chaotic, Blueprint 1 Elite, 100 Gang Nate, and myself, Race Car Friends. Uh, also, shout out to Will Motivation. He's a friend of the channel. We rock with him hard. Actually, also shout out to Papa Longlegs. That's my homie too. Check out his channel. He do a lot of fun stuff. And I think he's going to be doing a lot more videos in the near future. So look out for him as well too. They're all on the feature section of my channel. So if you go to feature channels, you'll see them there. But yeah, 
let's get into this video, right? So I love the way this this uh, Mark A GTI looks. I think it's a beautiful car. Um, just and it and it fits my lifestyle really well. Now, me being six six, I run into some issues with you know the types of cars because I love the way the Miata and the Supra and all those cars look, but I don't fit into them. So you know I have to be very selective on what I can buy. So let's look at the the size of this vehicle, right? You can see it there. It's a hatch. So you know, well, I'll show you real quick. This is how you open up the rear. So rear space, not that much space, but you know, I could get my bags in there, get my equipment in there, uh, no problem. The seats do fold down. I can take this out if need be. So as far as storage space and plus, you know, you got some stuff there, got a little there, you got a, a uh, my actual spare tire underneath there. So I like that. It's pretty cool, right? Now Let's go to the rear of the vehicle here. So I have my seat pushed all the way back Nobody can sit here really uh, You probably just fit the car seat and even then it, it'll be a, a bit of a stretch uh, So I have I actually I think I have both seats pushed all the way back, right? but Let's look at the front with the seats pushed all the way back bam i actually fit in here quite comfortably and i'll cut over to that now so you guys can see i'll put in yeah i'll put in a little clip so you can guys see how it looks with me getting in and out of here so hold on all right so this is me standing next to the car and now you're gonna see me getting in so here we go bam easy lots of leg room Lots of leg room. And I, I don't know, I fit pretty comfortably. Like, I actually like it in here. So, fit pretty comfortably, no issues. Lots and lots of leg room. You know, you can see down here. Like, when I close the door, like, you see in other cars, like, you know, my leg would probably be like all the way up there. But, you know, my legs fit comfortably no issues whatsoever really you know i got like lots of room up here you know like no issues no issues whatsoever i fit comfortably where this does become an issue let me turn it on and yeah let me yeah so where it became an issue is when i had to pick up uh some family the other day and <laughs> it was like, so I had to pull my seat up. So I'll pull it up a little bit to show you where I was sitting. Uh, yeah, so I had to sit like this to give them room. So once I had to move the chair up, then my legs were like up here a little bit. So, you know, if you need to have people in the back of you and you're 6'6 or 6'3 and above really, I would say, like it's not gonna be the most comfortable, but you know like i can still i can still drive like this like i can still you know shift and do whatever i need to do you know i can still drive it's not the most comfortable because like you see now my legs are touching the steering wheel here so it's definitely not the most comfortable but you can make it work all right and i'll get out and i'll show you i'll show you what it looks like on in the rear seat area so yeah, getting out isn't that bad. You guys can see how I did that. But yeah, so that's how much uh, leg room, you know, there is in the back there now that I moved the seat up. So somebody could sit there and on the other side, I'll show you how I had the seat. So I had the seat like this. So I had the front seat like that. So somebody was sitting there pretty comfortably. And then I had the rear seat like that. So they had more than enough room on this side and someone sat in the middle, they were okay. And the person behind me wasn't the most happy, but it got it done. So all in all, this is a perfect, good commuter car. It is fun, it's fast, it takes the mods well. Um, I would also say that it's uh, it's good on gas and in a pinch. So literally, 
There was five people in this car. It was me, passenger, three people in the rear, and at me, being my height, it worked. It worked out. So, in, to, in totality, in answering this question, is the Mark 8 Golf tall people friendly? Yes, it is. I don't know how they did it because it's not the largest looking car, but it, it's definitely more, more spacious than, let's say, a GR Corolla. So, you know, that's something to think about. It's another hatch. Uh, I would say a car that is slightly better when it comes to fitting people in it would be a Subaru WRX that you could fit people a little bit. It's a little bit more spacious interior wise, but yeah, this will get the job done. So if you're over six foot and you're worrying about, you know, getting this car thinking that you won't be able to fit, you can fit and you will fit comfortably. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, race car friends out. <laughs> oh, you in there? Kind of. Get that knee up under there. I can't turn this look. No oh, dang. I literally. <laughs> dang. Oh, you can't even get to the pedal, can you? No, because it's my... <laughs> Look, I can't... <laughs>